Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Trogdor, and welcome back to PTL Season 4. And I'm not in Division 1, even though I just realized the thing I'm using on my layout actually says Division 1 because that's an old logo. But you know what? I am just like so ready to just like go through all these games. Okay. Wow, I'm getting ahead of myself already. Welcome to a new series I like to call How Not to Play Pokemon in Draft League. Uh, basically, um, I'm going to go through uh, three battles this video to number one, catch up. Number two, just point out uh, a few ways how to not play your battles. Because spoiler alert, I did horribly. Uh, over the span of these three games, and yeah, let's find out why. So first of all, um, my week four opponent, Aquarius, of the, I want to say, Chicago team. Um, you know, as an arrogant New Yorker, I'm just like, Chicago? What? Who's who? Who's that? I've never heard of that place in my entire life. Is that another country? Um, has probably one of the most stacked teams in the entire draft pool. How did we let a team like this exist? So you see Cinderace, the Mimikyu, Gothitelle, Braviary, Hippowdon, and Como, -O, which for some reason allows the Omniboost. So I've got a team that comprises of Excelgore, Shandulur, Gastrodon, Skuntank, Rotom Fun, and Clefable. The idea of this game is to get hazards with Excelgore, take hits with Gastrodon, Poison Scuff. Poison stuff with Skuntank, Volt Switch around with Rotom, and just be annoying piece of crap with Cliff Able. Oh, and Chandelure is Trick Room, because my team is really slow besides Excelgore, and my opponent's team is really fast. So if I weaken the Hippowdon, I basically can Trick Room with Chandelure and sweep. If the team is weak enough, but yeah, yeah. okay. I'm gonna leave Rotom Fun, see if my opponent wants to go for Hippowdon, but Braviary comes in, and that's amazing. Uh, Gothitelle comes in, but I can Volt Switch for free. If I I wanted to see if that Braviary was Scarfed or not. Oh man, if I got a Volt Switch on that Braviary. So I bring in Skuntank, which is fine, because Skuntank is my check to my opponent's biggest bulky boys in the Hippo and the Goth Girlfriend, and I see the Hippo come in here, and I'm going to throw a Toxic on this once I can. Crunch does a lot of damage, so I'm thinking that might be a... I don't know if an offensive hippo because it's like I calculated it and it was like barely even um like 252 attack. So I'm gonna go for a crunch again because it's doing a lot and oh. Um yeah, I kinda needed my skunk for Gothitel and Mimikyu. So even though the way I was looking at it was he the uh hippo needs to get out of there because it's on a timer or slack off or something but my opponent decided to just uh, blow me back with the earthquake even though now Hippowdon just goes down to a toxic and does nothing to Clefable as I start calm mining because you're gonna go down and but I realize like oh wait I miscalculated toxic damage but I can just get some you know fun earthquake because now it goes down I can volt switch for free this would have been a beautiful time to go into Skuntank again. So I, for some reason, go into my Chandelure. And this is how you do not play your win con. Notice how my opponent had not yet sent out the Como O, the Cinderace, the Braviary had taken no damage, Mimikyu hadn't even come in. So I had barely broken through my opponent's wall core when I decided, like, oh, I can go into Chandelure and do, do this. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, had I gone into my... Oh wait, I'm just realizing Excelgore wasn't lead um, hazards. My Excelgore was running a spicy set with Final Gambit because the idea was sack something to Como O and bring in Excelgore and just blow it back with Final Gambit because I looked at my opponent's roster and I saw that Como O was the thing that I was like most ah uh, about. So that's why I hadn't gone into Excelgore. Okay. But I could have gone into a whole lot of things. But yeah, see, see with the light screen there, that just makes Chandelure so 
like I was not ready for this and now after rocks it's just like I just played my win con so poorly right there but so oh yeah that was heat so I had um what do you call it um shed shell on my gastrodon because I knew that I needed to bring gastrodon for one thing but I knew my opponent would need to like have energy bomb or something on Goth to trap gastrodon but I was like ha ha I can just get into my cleferous gun tank for free so I bring in my clef again for free as I get taunted that's unfortunate I couldn't go for my wish right there and psychic does a lot but moonblast does even more but the light screen goes away and Goth Girlfriend goes down and Clefable is free. So my opponent's wall core is gone, but my wind con is gone. So I have to make my Rotom the wind con. And there's a layer of screens, but at least I'm able to have Gastrodon freely, um, you know. Yeah, but now Mimikyu comes in. Okay, so Mimikyu goes for the substitute and I go for the clear smog and this is where I lose because Mimikyu behind those screens, I was like billion percent gonna go for the SD. And I was like, haha, clear smog, super effective. You lose you you lose your boost. So now you have to start attacking me and I can start rocking off earth powers. That was my line of thought right there. Like of all the dummy dumb plays that I made during this battle, that was the one play that I was like, okay, I thought that was like a really smart play, but I lost because of it. Um yeah, so now Mimikyu is just uh, dance. It's just gonna start dancing, and uh, yeah, I can't even break the sub after another skull. Uh, so yeah, watch Gastrodon just barely break this up, and it still got his disguise. Like, okay, um, I yeah, I, I can't break this. <laughs> it's still got the disguise up. So yeah, um, Mimikyu is just gonna run through me. Um, I'm not going to make you suffer through this because, yeah, it's a uh, bye-bye for me. So I lose four on that one. So let's watch another game that you thought I was kidding when I say I played horribly. Let's take another look. So this is my week um, five game versus Moose, who has Primarina, Garlamananatan, Toxitricity, Ludicolo, Claydol, and Alolan Persian, and I'm rocking Scarf Surfetch, which I think is the most amazing set because of number one, Scrappy, number two, Bops Everything, uh, and yeah, it's Surfetch. Uh, Gastrodon, Serena Vander Woodson, because I need to break the Primarina and I need a check to the Ludicol. Shindler, I think, is Scarf or something because I need to outpace Scarf Manitan, but then again, Scarf Manitan is base 100. Excelgore to, I think, Hazard's this turn, but I couldn't remember what it was last game. And then Clefable, once again, do a B, an annoying pink blob of nothing. Oh yeah, Gastro has the Grass um, Berry, because I knew I would need to take a hit from Ludicolo if I was going to like survive make my time, but anyway. So Moose sends in the Garland Manitan as I you know, go into Speedwagon. So I know you're Scarf. I know it. As I go for a Bugs Buzz, and oh yeah, watch this heat, watch this heat. So, number one, I'm Offensive Excel. Number two, I went for the Bug Buzz straight away because I knew that if he was not Scarf Manitan, that it would have done a really hefty chunk. And number three, it's like, yeah, I get my special attack boost and the Unburden, so I outspeed even a Scarf Dar Manitan. So uh, as I go take advantage of this to go for the spikes, but haha, -ha, you dumb, that goes to the substitute. And I don't even have, oh yeah, well toxicity and uh, yeah, he, yeah. So um, <laughs> we got some smooth throats in this battle as Moose said. So I go into Chandelure as I go for the psychic because I can't really hit toxicity with anything else as I go through the Gastrodon and Okay, um, I forgot to put Storm Drain on the Gastrodon, even though it was meant to be kind of a check to the Ludicolo because I have the Rindo Berry, but that was just one of those dummy dumb things in prep that didn't come up during any of my mock battles, but here, like, I thought it was like, yeah, I can switch into, to, uh, to, yeah, no problem, and, oh, and my Berry gets popped. That would have been, um, that would have been really great if I had Storm Drain, like, a smart person would have, but nah. And so I just gotta go into um, to Serena, and I can't even take. I think this is an AV prim because it's definitely not. Um, 
what do you call it? Definitely not specs. So, did, did, I, did I not have U-turn? Okay, so that gunk shot was at minus one, but it still only did 25% to a Clefable. So I can set up for free against this um, Persian. Because it's like, what are you going to do to me, guy? Like, Moose, I know I always play really dumb in our battles, but seriously, what are you going to do to me? I've got a Clefable that's just boosting in front of you, and you've got, um... What? Like, oh, a nasty plot. <laughs> nasty plot, um, JoJo reference. Like, <laughs> that is cute. Like, Clefable doesn't care. And I, I even had to go and double check that I wasn't accidentally level 100. <laughs> this game, because the damage was just so... Well, um, but Toxtricity comes in, uh, does a pretty good amount of damage as I go for the Psychic and that thing goes down. So Clefable's doing a pretty good job, but I am getting weak and Scarfed Armanitana is just kind of, uh, yeah, um, let's not talk about that. So Surg comes in and I am Scarf, but for some reason I go for the knockoff right there instead of the close combat because what could take a close combat? Well, the Primarina. I was kind of hoping that would come in. But at the same time, this is where my Rindo Berry would have come in handy because I have to go into Trish on the Ludicolo now and it has Ice Beam and oh yeah, the Rain Dance is, yeah, it's another Torture Dance. Um, hopefully I can, yeah, I can't even out. I thought Chariot could take a hit, but no. No, that, yeah, no, that's, uh, I'm, hope, I'm trying, just trying to like waste turns of rain. Or Chandelure to outspeed at this point. Gastrodon, I probably can't take a what do you call it, Giga Drain. Um, but yeah, luckily Ring goes away. But I just gotta hope. I just gotta hope that I can do a lot of damage with Chandelure. I am what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? I'm Scarf, but Darmanitan outspeeds me anyway. So, but he went into. Oh wait, no, I'm not Scarf. What am I? Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to outspeed Darmanitan anyway. And uh, yeah, the Primarina has Energy Ball, and yeah, I'm just uh, so. The moral of that story, gamers, was number one, as spicy as a Throat Sprite Excelgore sets look, Excelgore does not do any damage, even at plus one. Make sure that you just, when you have Sir Fetched, just spam close combat. Just don't do anything else, just spam close combat. Uh, when you have Gastrodon, give it Storm Drain. When you have Clefable, heal when you can. Just heal at all chances. And, oh uh, god, yeah. Uh, so Moose wins versus me again. I think I've only beat him once. And lastly, uh, let's see, what did I do? Oh god, this battle. Uh, I think in doing prep... Oh, one of the reasons that my videos are late is because I was on vacation. And I didn't have any of my... I didn't even have a computer with me when I went to the middle of nowhere in California. And this is the first game that I played when I came back, and I had barely done any prep for it. And in doing prep, I think I said some famous lads' words. Oh yeah, I'm not too scared of Keldeo. I said that. I said those words. Those are words that came out of my mouth. Because, like, yeah, I've got Serena. Yeah, I've got Sir Fetched. But, um, yeah. Uh, look at the rest of my team. And I brought Ice Cube for some reason. So uh, I'm going to go into Duraludon, hopefully get up some rock. By the way, worst first pick ever, am I right? Uh, so I needed Clef to donk the Hydra, because Hydreigon is scary. And I've got the Babiri Berry for the um, Escavalier, because I know that thing is going to try to donk me. So I'm going to see what the Hydreigon is, and it's like AV or something. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately my Roselli Berry goes... Uh, not my Roselli Berry, the Doi. I was thinking like, oh, the th the thing might have the Roselli Berry. The Babiri Berry gets popped right there. I'm trying to remember what dummy dumb moves I made this game. Oh right, it was uh, letting my opponent just like hazard stack me at first. Like I was just so desperate to. Yeah, I, I could have sworn like there's no way that the um, the Rainicorn would have come in on my Duraludon there at all. Oh, this is it. This is where I was like, I was so getting so greedy with my boosts. Like I had the plus speed on my Serena, and I was like, 
I am not going to waste this plus speed on my Serena, so I just kind of like had this weird 1v1 with this Roselia, letting it just do stuff in front of me because I was like, I don't want to waste my speed boost, so I just keep going for- Oh yeah, rapid spin of all the moves that I had, rapid spin was doing the most damage. And I could have gone into Chandelure there, I could have gone into freaking Surfetch there, I could have gone into- but I was like, I, I'm, I'm not gonna waste these speed boosts, oh god. I played Serena so horribly, and I needed it for this stupid thing right here, this stupid Keldeo, and yeah, so now Keldeo's gonna sweep me, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, see, how, see how easy it would have been to take down that Roselia instead of just being like, I've got my speed boost right now. Oh, God. So he starts going for the Calm Mind, this stupid Keldeo, and it's just like, ah! Because I was hoping that Clef would have been the next best answer for it, but no. Now I can't Draco with Duraludon either, but so I just gotta hope that Surfetch can do enough damage. But he goes for the sub. I do have the Leaf Blade, but it's like at this point, plus one Keldeo's Scald slash Hy Hydro Pump is just ow. So I go for another Leaf Blade. The That thing tanks it, but it's like, I. Oh wait, am I banded or something this game? Yes, I was banded! Because it's like, what can take a banded. Um, Close combat. Definitely not this is Cavalier. So he uh, uh, played himself right there. But unfortunately Rapidash comes in right there, but and the Zen headbutt miss. I guess I got kinda lucky there. But Throat Chop was um Why did I say it was Surfetched? Oh yeah, everything was outspeeding me and just kinda bopping me. So here's a dumb move that I did. I went into Ice Q. And uh, Ice Q I thought would would have been my win con right here. It's like, yeah, he's gotta attack me with the Rapidash right when his other two opponents are special and can hit me for super effect. I should have just gone for the damage here. Because Keldeo can break through my ice head. Why did I why did I go for the belly drum right here? I basically just told just threw in the towel at this point. It was it was um, just that, that was just kind of embarrassing. When I could have gotten some some extra damage, uh and now he just is uh and this, uh, yeah, uh, so that's how you, uh, don't play Pokemon for, well, in my case, uh, for my opponent's case, you know, play fantastically, like, know your win con, just, like, wear down my Serena, just kind of, like, um, all those damage, if, man, imagine if I had been AV Surfetch there, because it's, like, I'm still doing a ton of damage, and it's, like, I, I can tank a hit much better from Keldeo, and then as he switches into the Escavalier, like, I don't need the extra damage for the close combat, wow. So, still some sloppy prep. Duraludon is the worst first pick ever. That where I just have no idea how to play it. Uh, so yeah, those were the games, everybody. And I hope at least one of you learned something because, you know, we all want to be good at Pokemon, right? <laughs> I, I, the, yeah. So yeah, now I'm all caught up on my games. Uh, next week is going up tomorrow because that one will finally be on time. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this kind of sloppy, uh, sloppy game, sloppy video, but whatever. We're here for um other why why are we here you ever wonder why we're here well yeah uh keep that in mind like the video if you like it subscribe if you're new and want to check out my other videos comment down below if you got anything else to say but otherwise i've had some fun right here and i hope you did too so i'll see everyone in the next video take care now Bye bye